Okay, I have a present for everybody. This is my parting gift to you, folks. There we go. Don't turn the page. Just look at the first page. Okay, look at the first page, please. There will be a quiz at the end. It'll only take about an hour. So that's a joke. Everybody have a handout? Everybody have the handout? Okay. So, um, this is my last time with you folks, and I thought I'd put together a summary of some of the points that we've all been talking about over the last uh, few weeks. And uh, it's not intended to be totally uh, covering everything, but it covers some of the highlights. So I'm going to be looking at uh, planning the presentation, rehearsing the presentation, giving the presentation, and answering questions. Here's an example of presentation, and uh, it may not be exactly like your presentation, but it's, uh, it's similar. In, in my area, which is about wildlife, management implications is an important section uh, because we're interested in how people can manage the resources. So here are some ideas on the introduction. Um, please think about why you're doing the research. Um, what uh, contrib contribution does your research have to humanity? Um, how does your research relate to other people's work? That's important. And when you make those connections, talk about uh, the other people's work and, and give them credit. So what's wrong with this slide? What's wrong with this slide? Anybody? Wrong color, wrong font, anything else? Too much information, yes. So choose the right colors of background, choose the right font. And this may seem obvious to you, but a lot of people have the wrong combinations. It's hard to read. And too much information. We've seen that this afternoon in some of the slides. We've seen it over the past uh, three months. Um, only include a few points in one slide. If you have too much information in one slide, just break it into two slides. Spread it out into two slides. Make sure the audience can have time to read the slide. A rule of thumb, we've talked about this too, roughly one slide, one minute. And uh, uh, if you are uh, presenting a huge amount of information and you don't give the audience enough time, they will just switch off and go to sleep, as we've seen once in a while in this group. Um, do not use excessive animation like that. <laughs> this was a bear in uh, my friend's garden in North Vancouver, where I come from. It was a female. She spent most of an afternoon uh, lying on the grass and some of the afternoon having a swim in his uh, pond. Tables, figures, and formulas. Explain them clearly and slowly. Don't rush. Make sure you label the axes of graphs and give the units. Again, make sure that the audience can read the details and acronyms. If you are talking to a general audience, make sure that everybody in the audience knows what those acronyms or abbreviations are. Uh, here we have a, a group of people who are talking to each other all the time. So you don't have to explain what ATR is to most people. But if it's a more general audience, you have to explain the acronyms. 
test the video clips before you use them. I hope it works, because I didn't have a chance to check. Let's see if it works. Oh, it didn't work. No. Why didn't it work? <laughs> uh, why didn't it work? Because I didn't... Wh why didn't it work? Oh, the mouse. Mouse. Down here. Click. No. Oh. This, this is uh, an application of engineering. Um, this is a video showing the use of the downdraft from the rotors of a helicopter. A helicopter was flying along a lake, and this poor deer was stuck in the lake. So the downdraft from the aircraft was, uh, the helicopter, was used to push the deer out of the lake. But why did it stop? I don't know. Why did it stop? <laughs> Did I press something? <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, that's, that's not what it's supposed to do. It didn't do that before, and it's, this is, that's on YouTube. Some, some of the folks here have seen it already and talked about it. Okay. Um, yeah, so before you give your presentation, uh, actually, the, the deer was able to escape from the lake. It was frozen and it was blown out of the lake by the helicopter. Um, very good application of conservation. Um, before you give your presentation, practice it many times. Uh, rehearse the timing, wh which you do in this group here. Um, if you're rushing, it's because you have too much material. Don't rush. Have your wo friends watch the presentation uh, and ask you questions and give you comments. Um, you might also bear in mind that uh, uh, you should eat before you give your presentation so you're not hungry, and you should get a good night's sleep. So that, that combination is, is very important. If you are sleep deprived and you're hungry or you're sick, that's not good. Um, when you give your presentation, look at the audience, and scan the audience, continually scan the audience. Don't re read your presentation uh, like I am now. You see, I'm cheating. I'm looking at the slides. Um, and you, but you can use your slides as prompt. And when you use one of these things, we, we've talked about this numerous times. I was watching a lecture re recently, and he, the, the, the speaker was doing this for the whole lecture, one hour like this. <laughs> and, oh, drove me crazy. Um, do not rush. Okay. Uh, questions. Understand the question. If someone gives you a question, make sure you understand the question. If you don't understand the question, get the, speak, uh, the, get the questioner to repeat the question, or speak more slowly, or ask the question in another way. And you can ask the, the, the speaker to do that. Now, af after thinking about the question, as uh, Dr. Lee said this afternoon, after thinking about the question, then you answer it. But some people answer the question before the question has finished. You're so anxious to, to give the answer that you don't wait for the, 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 the questioner to finish asking the question. That's not good. You wait, take a breath, and then you answer the question. Th so think about the question before you answer it. Um, if you're giving a presentation in English, it's too late to worry about English when you're giving a presentation. Just talk. And if you make mistakes in the English, too bad. doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Um, do your best to answer the question. Don't be afraid to say, I'm sorry. I don't know. Um, and please don't use this expression, I have no idea. Because I, I have no idea is very abrupt English, for one thing. Um, and it also is kind of dismissive. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's not good. Uh, but it also suggests that you don't know your material. When you're giving your talk, you are the expert at that time. You may not think you're the expert, that you are. Just for those few brief moments you'll, you have an audience in front of you, you're the expert, um, then you say, I'm sorry, I don't know the answer to that question. You don't say, I have no idea. 
because you should have an idea. You should have an idea. Okay. And if practical, give a handout. Uh, if you give the handout of the whole presentation, it could be very expensive. That's why I reduced this to two pages. And, um, and uh, another way of doing it is, of course, to put a file on a website somewhere, which is good. So that, that's what the thank you is on this handout. But the, the actual thank you is this one. Um, I've been associated with this lab twice now, last winter and this winter. And it's been a real pleasure to be associated with Dr. Kondo, Professor Kondo, and all of you folks. You've all been very kind to me. Um, some of you have taken me on field trips. Some of you have taken me to parties. Some of you have been very friendly to me, visited me, and I really appreciate that. Um, it's been a pleasure to work with you. Um, I wish you all well in your research. I wish you well in your lives. And uh, I know some of you may not be at the Bornenkai on Friday. So to those of you who won't be at the Bornenkai on Friday, Salamat Jalan, uh, Ciao. Uh, no, I, hopefully you'll be there. So I won't. I'll save my Ciao for Friday. And. Uh, uh, those of you who can't be there, uh, arigato gozaimashita, sayonara. So that's my presentation. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah.